Hey guys, we're back for some bull bound college football today. I'm doing uh, the recording here on Sunday morning, and this episode is dedicated to Bobby Bowden, the great Florida State coach who passed away yesterday at the age, I believe he was 91 or 93 years old. Um, pancreatic cancer is what it looks like. Um, you know, cancer hit close to home for me. Both of my parents had cancer. Uh, my son had cancer. So uh, definitely uh, not pancreatic cancer, but, uh, you know, best wi- you know, condolences and best wishes to the Bowden family. Uh, and Bobby Bowden, one of those great coaches from my lifetime. Uh, and there's not many of them left. So safe travels, coach. All right, so we are back. This is, I forget the episode number. (laughs) Let me look. It's episode 20, and today we are going to be playing Idaho, Middle Tennessee State, and North Texas, all three home games at Cajun Field in Lafayette, Louisiana, and uh, let's see what we can get done. Mike Smith is our best offensive player. He is our starting quarterback, Uh, 288 yards, two touchdowns, one interception in the opening game loss to Ball State. We come into this one seven-point favorites at home against Idaho. Let's see what happens. All right, we pull off a 23-7 victory, 13 unanswered points in the fourth quarter, 16 unanswered points total as we broke a 7-7 deadlock and uh, took it home. We were actually uh, one less first down, less yardage, Less rushing yardage, 42 carries for only 87 yards. We would like to see that improve. Uh, Smith, only 14 of 32. So, again, not not at that 50%. I mean, we just don't seem to have that in our locker right now. Peterson, 3 out of 4. We'll look at him here in just a second. 11 for 44. So, let's see, 4 yards for my two running backs, 6 yards for my receiver, only one yard, three yards, two yards. So my fullback's not getting it done. And let's see. No real big receiver threats. Two catches for the tight end, Levesque, 69 yards. Two touchdowns, though. So uh, let's see. Scroll down for you guys that like the defensive stuff. There you go. And we had 18,000 in attendance, 91 degrees, and Jeffrey Olson was the player of the game and that's our cornerback yes three passes defended and that gives us a win out of conference we're one and one now the number 53 ranked defense in the nation number 93 offense not the greatest uh but you know we're still a struggling team let's take a look at uh the depth chart here and peterson peterson's one of the freshmen he has really good intelligence and instincts, and I I personally find those to be two ratings that I like to look at a lot. So Smith is starting, but he has the worst instincts, second best intelligence. Why don't we do this? He hasn't done anything to lose his job. Are we off this week? I think we are. We are. All right, let me knock out the off-week off stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, I've gone in. I've adjusted the lineup. We're going to start Peterson at quarterback today. Uh, doesn't have the arm strength, doesn't quite have the accuracy, but he's got the intelligence and instincts. So we'll take a look and see if those balance out a little bit. Uh, I put a lot of faith in those. I like to have all of them, you know, touch accuracy arm strength unless you're throwing deep doesn't really play a role but the intelligence and instincts that's just the ability to make the right decision so uh, we are three point underdogs as we open up uh, conference action here in the Sun Belt let's see how it goes 
surprisingly it's close we lose 18 to 17 they score two touchdowns in the final two minutes of the game a 48 yard pass and an 11 yard pass they did miss both of their two point conversions and we lose on a touchdown with four seconds left in the game we led 17 to 6 so the defense let us down here but we were very competitive we had more first downs uh let's see we had more yards a little bit better rushing 42 carries for 110 yards uh 15 of 31 so almost 50 percent and actually peterson hit 30 50 percent 13 of 26 236 yards two touchdowns he did have two interceptions but I find that to be a little bit better performance. Uh, both of the running backs over three yards a carry. And you can see our fullbacks are still getting a few carries. And you know the funny thing with that is I don't have any plays in my playbook, which is what I'm using. I don't have any plays for the fullback. <laughs> None. So uh, that's interesting that they're still getting carries. And I get there is one play that it's kind of an option. The running back is supposed to be the primary, but that's where the quarterback in, intelligence and instincts should be reading that and making the decision for the fullback. And uh, the, yeah, that's not panning out. Uh, two catches for 74 yards, 15 yards after the catch. That's positive. Uh, how did our kicking game go? One for four with a long of 26. That's not great. And 18,460 fans. And David Bowman, 21 carries for 69 yards. And that would be for Middle Tennessee State. No, that's our guy. Um, says he had two touchdowns. Oh, he had two touchdowns receiving. Three catches. 34 yards, two touchdowns. Okay, so player of the game. I just assumed since they won, it was their guy. Uh, so we start off Sunbelt action 0-1, 1-2 and on the season. And next up, we have North Texas. We are eight-point favorites. Let me get that set up, and we'll be right back to see how we do there. All right, again, we are eight-point favorites. Uh, I've kept Peterson in the starting job, so let's see how that goes. Uh, I did not adjust the playbook this week. Remember, I usually adjust it after, you know, about every three games, so I actually adjusted it a little early uh, based on two, two games, but... I, I knew we were struggling running the ball, and I want and you know I wanted just to kind of make a few tweaks. So let's go ahead and sim out this week and see if we can pull out a win. All right, a big win for us, 27 to seven. Uh, they actually got a 91 yard pick six uh, in the final quarter. Uh, so we were going in for another score there. Uh, we had a 63 yard pick six, so those balance out. And uh, Bowman with a 12 yard run. We only gave up eight first downs, 367 to 160 in the yardage. Look at this, we actually averaged 4.6 yards a carry, and we hit the 50% mark in passing again. Peterson, 14 of 31. But two interceptions, no touchdowns in this one. Smith was six of nine. So, you know, now I've got to kind of wonder. Ruiz, 4.4 yards a carry. Bowman, 2.79. So maybe I need to look at moving Ruiz up into the starting position. Uh, Garner, two of four with a long of 31. There's your defensive stats. Again, 18,782, and Jeffrey Olson, our cornerback, player of the game again. Five tackles, one sack, and one pass defended. Very good game for him. So we are now 2-2 two and two on the season. We are 1-1 one and one in the Sun Belt, which has us solidly in the middle of the standings. So that is good. We're, we're you know, we've got a shot. Uh, Middle Tennessee State, I don't think we're going to win the league this year. But let's jump in real quick. We're not going to play out another one. But Peterson has really come back to earth. And, and 
I didn't show it to you because it was in the during the week while I was doing the sim, but this was a development week. So this is a week where your players go up or down. So you remember Smith was a five potential. Now he's only a four, but Peterson has gone down as well from a what was I don't remember what he was a second ago, uh, but now he's only a one three. So I think. I really think I'm going to go back to Smith as uh, my starter. I think we're going to give that a shot. We'll go ahead and set everything here. Again, I usually use the suggest uh, because it tries to put your best player. At, now, you know, there's some things, you know, mostly my skill positions. I may, you know, I may swap my receivers around. I may want to, in fact, we had said I might want Ruiz there and let's check who has the best hands Ruiz actually has the best hands Bowman is horrible so I think we're gonna put Ruiz up there and I want Ruiz in there on third down as well so that's you know I'm looking that, you know, I want to be passing. We've got some screens that we've added into the playbook. So I want the guy that has the best hands. And he's averaging more yards per carry as well. So let's give him a shot. In fact, uh, White's doing really well. But look at, the Bo look at Bowman's upside. I still want him to play. So if you, you know, when you do your depth chart, let's take a look at that for you guys this so when you set your playing time so right now my starter is going to play six out of every ten snaps so when he comes out then your second string is going to get some snaps your third string is going to and if you have four guys on the depth chart it's potential that all of them will get some snaps in various tiers so six two one one is what i would expect no guarantees on that but you know if you, for every 10 snaps six to your first string two to your second string and your third and fourth string would get one apiece. if you've only got three guys on the depth chart you're still only going to get 60 percent so six out of ten and then three for your second string and one for your third string is kind of what i would expect it to average out uh, I am going to also drop this to 36 yards. <laughs> I just, uh, no faith that we have a kicker that can hit anything. And you know what? Let's raise that to 60%. I mean, it can't hurt us, right? I mean, if we're, if we're not kicking field goals, we just assume go for it on fourth down. So that'll be something we'll look at next episode. Uh, next uh, episode, we'll be playing Florida Atlantic, Florida International, and then Rice. See how we can do. We're currently at 500 in both the league and overall. We have the number nine rated defense in the country after that last game. Uh, naturally, that doesn't mean we're the ninth best defense really in the country. That's just statistically. But hey, we're doing pretty good. You know, we're on track for six wins again, which is the goal, trying to get in just bowl eligible. And uh, hey, we'll see you guys next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way when these videos, because this is a sporadic series, uh, it's not weekly or daily or anything. So hit that little notification bell. What that'll do is it'll shoot you an email or a reminder when a video does go live uh, that you want to check out. Thanks so much, and we will talk to you later. Bye.